Hi there, I'm Becky. I'm Fury. And I'm Dan. And this is Brian. Brian is a firefighter and EMT for the city of Long Beach. He saves lives for a living. And he's very busy. 84% of calls to the Long Beach Fire Department are of a medical nature. And that number's growing. The number of calls has grown 1,200% since the 1970s. Brian really appreciates the responsibility he has, but he often gets sent to an address that makes him sigh. This address is a super utilizer, or an address that disproportionately uses emergency services. Brian knows that when he arrives, he'll see a similar scene to what he saw earlier that week, or even earlier that day, one that often seems preventable. In Long Beach, as in cities across the country, super utilizers have a big impact on EMS service. In fact, last year, 52% of EMS calls, that's over half, came from just 10% of the addresses. Being able to help that 10% has a huge impact, both financially on the city and in the lives of the people going to the hospital. So we asked the question, what can be done here? It was while Brian has to go to the emergency room, take the patient, and be ready for the next call as soon as possible, it was clear to us there are other people in the city and other approaches that could be taken to help solve the underlying problems at these addresses. To help find those solutions, we built Address IQ. Address IQ is a web application that serves as a spark for action by highlighting the highest utilizing addresses to city staff and supporting their communication about the actions that they can take there. Address IQ synthesizes and analyzes data from the fire department and the police department, cross-referencing it with business license data, and presents that back to city staff. When the staff member logs in, Address IQ shows them the highest utilizing, highest priority addresses first. These are the places where making even a small change can have a huge impact. They can sort by the number of fire calls and the number of police calls, get more context about what those numbers really mean, and filter by dates so that they can see how the story has changed over time. Then, as staff members explore an address, they can see the types of calls and the history of those displayed in a way to inspire action, help them understand what's been happening at a particular location, and make it easier to actually go ahead and take those actions. As an example, if a particular location has a lot of calls about falls, code enforcement will have a different solution than health department might. People from different departments bring different solutions to the table, so code enforcement sees that information, and they start setting up an inspection of the staircases to make sure that there aren't trip hazards there. The health department can also set up fall prevention classes at the same location. People in these departments are working often in different places, but Address IQ gives them one place that they can come together to organize their ideas, start brainstorming solutions immediately, and stay in touch as they carry out those action plans over time. And it will take time to have an impact. But over time, these coordinated responses will decrease EMS calls, which will help the city make better use of limited resources, help Brian focus on what matters most, and most of all, help the people who are spending so much of their lives in crisis. So I think it's safe to say that for all of us who work in government, we know the story all too well. Demand for service increases, but revenues and resources don't. So it's really incumbent on us to take a look at the resources we have and utilize them differently. Technology is a huge piece of this. There's no doubt about it. We'd all agree. But one of the key insights that really informed us throughout our process in Long Beach was that people have to drive this change. Because if you don't have action, this is just pretty data on a website. And Address IQ was built with that in mind. So it takes existing data, it provides it in an actionable format that cultivates collaboration among departments that maybe didn't otherwise exist. But it also empowers each staffer, no matter what department they're in, to think differently about their own subject area of expertise. And we've already seen the results. We've got code enforcement staff accessing police department call for service data like that. And now the police department's even asking how quickly we can roll out Address IQ to their officers that are in the field. So we're really excited about the future of Address IQ, but it's important that you realize that this is just one tool. Any city can cultivate this type of collaboration or empower their staff to think differently about any number of intractable problems, maybe even super utilizers, so the thousands of paramedics and EMTs like Brian can breathe a little easier. So before we go today, we just want to take a minute and say thank you. Thank you to the incredible staff in the city of Long Beach 
and for their patience and their trust in this. Thank you to our third musketeer, Molly McLeod. Thank you to former Mayor Bob Foster, current Mayor Robert Garcia, and thank you to the incredible staff and the, our community partner at the Molina Foundation and Dr. Martha Molina Bernadette. So we hope to talk to you more about Address IQ during the summit, and you can always hit us up by email at longbeach at codeforamerica.org. Thank you.